I can't believe we're talking about this again. Oh, I guess we can. <laughs> yeah, you can. Okay. <laughs> uh, right. uh, Draymond Green got ejected uh, from a basketball game again. What? Uh, last night for uh, because he couldn't uh, control his hands. Got handsy again. <laughs> last time we saw it, he was choking out Rudy Gobert. He got ejected and then suspended. <laughs> This is the third time this season he has been ejected from a basketball game. And, um, you know, the final score, you'd think that maybe he might have made up the difference. I don't know. Who knows? I mean, Devin Booker was just shooting lights out towards the end of the game last night. Right. Sure was. Um, and the Phoenix Suns defeat the Golden State Warriors without Kevin Durant. And then the Warriors didn't have Draymond Green from the eight-minute mark of the third quarter on because he's posting up Yusuf Nurkic. And everything seemed to be just, you know, one of those uh, jockeying for position, although somewhat uh, outside of the paint. It was damn near the three-point line where he and uh, Nurkic were were uh, having what seemed to be a normal interaction yeah. where a power forward of Draymond's, uh, you know, I guess stature and, and – um, is is being um, guarded by Yusuf Nurkic, and uh, and then Draymond just takes his left arm and just wings it around and hits Nurkic right in the face, and it's one of those moments where once again you're wondering, what is this guy's malfunction? <laughs> and and it's just again another moment where we're wondering what's he thinking? Why is he doing this? Why does he feel the need to do it? Mm -hmm. Guy's going to go to the Hall of Fame. Guy's got rings. Guy's got wealth, fame, and yet part of his game is just can't control his hands, can't control his feet. It's like a Mad Lib again. I said that before, and I guess here it is again. It's like a Mad Lib. It's like Draymond Green hits proper name NBA player in the – body part, you know, fill in the body part name in the blank arena and gets ejected. Flagrant blank. I guess you could fill in one or two, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, 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 I mean yeah. it's just, it's it's the same thing over and over and over again. And then cue Steve Kerr saying, he knows better. We got to have him out there. And, <laughs> and I guess the only thing that's different is Draymond apologized for this one. For Rudy Gobert, he's just like, you know, I have no regrets. <laughs> okay, I mean, we could dust for prints on his neck and find Draymond Green's fingerprints. We didn't have to wait for his podcast. Uh, or honestly, or whatever, you know, right? it, it's, yeah, oh, yeah, that's part of the Mad Lib, too. He yeah. goes on his podcast yeah. and, you know, starts talking X's and O's and and, he, and how he's playing three-dimensional chess or four-dimensional chess and whatever. This is him after the game, after getting ejected last night. Uh, he was pulling my hip, and I was – Swinging away to sell the call, made contact with him. Um, as you know, I'm not one to apologize for things I meant to do, but I do apologize to you, sir, um, because I didn't intend to hit him. Uh, I sell calls with my arms. I don't fall or to sell a call. I don't, I'm not a flopper. So I was just selling the call because he was grabbing me and pulling my hip back. So I spun away and Unfortunately, I hit him. And so, like I said, I apologize to you, Seth, um, because I didn't intend to hit him. So it makes no sense. It makes zero sense because, I mean, Yusuf Nurkic, you're, he, he's all over you. You know where he is. I mean, you, you have to get an idea of his whereabouts since you're leaning on him and he's actually pulling your hip. And if you're going to take your arm and fling it at the level of altitude that you are flinging it, you have to know he's taller than you. You're going to connect with him. <laughs> right. I mean, like, what, what do you think? He was just going to disappear magically? That Maybe. once you made contact with him, it would just, he, he, he would disintegrate? Maybe he thought he was going to weave and bob. <laughs> yeah, he's going he's to be. Uh, uh, honestly, well, I, I, like, I, I honestly <laughs> don't know. That, that makes no sense. Like, nor does the on. fact, like, oh, How do you pull if I tip? meant to hit him, then I wouldn't apologize. Right. Yeah. Uh, oh, <laughs> what? That's what I heard too. It was yeah. just like, so if I had meant yeah, to hit that's him, what I meant to, I heard, I heard that. and so proof of the fact I didn't mean to hit him is, is, is that I'm apologizing. And it's like, what? Like, honestly, if my, when he was, or she was five year old said this to Susie and I, we'd be like, Hold on a minute. Sit down. We need to explain to you the way the world works here. <laughs> like if you intend to do something, 
Yeah. And it's wrong, you apologize for it. And if you didn't intend to do something and it's wrong, you apologize for that too because you're, you know, a compassionate human being. It makes no sense. He's standing right there. He's leaning on you. You know where he is. You know he's tall and big. So when you fling your arm, you're going to hit him. And it's more than likely you're going to hit him in the face. In the face. And then when you do it, you're like, proof that I didn't mean to do it is that I'm apologizing. If I did it, you know, like say choke somebody out, uh, I I will tell you I have no regrets. Oh, okay. (laughs) What is that? (laughs) And so that leads to somebody like Nurkic saying this after the game. I was behind the play. (laughs) I don't think what's going on with him, I don't know. Personally, I feel like that brother need the help. You know, I'm glad he not try to choke me, but at the same time, and nothing to do with basketball, man. Like I'm just out there trying to play basketball. You know, they're swinging. I think we saw that often, but um, hope he, you know, whatever he got in his life, will get better. So, <laughs> man, oh man, I mean, whatever he's got in his life, get better. And and I, you know, I I don't know this guy. I don't. I just cover him, or we've covered. You know, we talk about him and the NBA every single day. And, yeah. you know, we're in our 10th year here. So in the last 10 years, I'm not talking about Draymond Green of winning championships and then being suspended in an NBA finals game because he, you know, hits LeBron in his King James. And then, you know, <laughs> and then we see what happened just last playoffs with Sabonis. And then we saw what happened this regular season with Go Bear and now this with Nurkic, and then you go on your X feed, Twitter feed, or whatever, and you see this now montage of all of the moments where he can't control his feet or his hands. And then he shows up on Turner. Turner has him on all the time because he's incredibly talented and he's gonna be a he's gonna be a, an announcer once he's done, I think. I think he'll be a, an analyst if that's what he wants to do. I don't know him. So here I am saying, you know, what is the matter? What uh, it's just it's a it's a it's a uh, body of work that makes you think, hey, you've got, it seems, all. So why are you always in this position? And does he not have the self-awareness to sit here and take such stock? Or he doesn't care. So Nurkic's response was brought up to Draymond last night as well. Respect. I still know what my intentions were. But respect. I think we all need help. I don't think any of us are too perfect. So... Respect, but I'll I'll tell him the same thing I just told you. I'm gonna apologize to him, and I, you know, I didn't intend to hit him. So, but he has a right to feel how he want to feel about it, and I'm not gonna sit here and try to go back and forth on how he feels about it. It's on him. I I kind of want to root for Draymond. I really do. Like he he does seem to be. <sighs> He, he does seem to be, you know, uh, a, a human in the world that 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 you want to root for. I don't know why I have that feeling. Hmm. Uh, honestly, because it, it 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 he doesn't do very much to earn anybody else's reasonable doubt that he didn't intend to do it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know. And and he's going he's going to the Hall of Fame. This is going to happen. Anybody who just wants to discard Draymond, guess what? He's going to the Hall of Fame. He's won all these rings. The question is, is why does he find himself in this position? And does he not think about where he's leaving Steph and Kerr and Clay and everybody else? They need him. Now more than ever, right? This this team is, I don't think, on anybody's radar to win the championship this year. That's why they resigned him. That's why they, you know, have generationally enriched him. Kind of funny these two all-time greats, Patrick Mahomes and Steph Curry, are just kind of being let down by their teammates in a way. Pat, you know, the Chiefs on the field, the wide receivers, and and Draymond on the court just with his antics. Well, or with his lack of availability. That's yeah. that's the phrase you hear all the time. Your best ability is your availability, you know. And... Um, and he's not going to be available again for this team. And so, Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.